So, you know, I went away for winter vacation with my wife, but I didn't go with my kids because my kids didn't have off. My girls had off right when I got back. So my wife told me, she says, Joey, I mentioned it last week. Joey, listen, I just found tickets to Florida for $50. Nothing more tricky than a $50 fight. $50, by the way, you could barely go with your shoes on to a $50 flight, okay? $50, Doug, how about it when we get back on Thursday? I'll take the girls on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I'll get back Tuesday night. Last week, I'll take them to Florida. $50 tickets. How am I going to fire $50? My wife to be daughters, $200, the whole thing. I'm not going to buy it. Turns out, literally, they can't bring a tissue box on the plane. Like, you bring anything on the plane, they charge you $100. And then once you get there, you have to stay in a hotel. And uh, don't ask the question. Uh, don't ask. Don't ask. Don't ask. I'm trying to be a good husband. But anyhow, they went. If you remember, that Sunday, Monday, Monday started to snow. I'm home with my two sons, my 14-year-old and my 6-year-old. Now it started to snow. I love snow. I love snow. I tell you about the class all the time. I go crazy for snow. I'm Ginny for snow. I get I'm so excited about snow. All of a sudden, Monday afternoon, I'm like, one second. I'm feeling a little down. I'm feeling a little, I don't know, lonely. I'm feeling a little sad. Like, I, I don't know. Why am I feeling this way? Like, I can't believe I'm feeling this way. Then I realized... I, my wife's not here. I haven't been in school in a while because they, you know, they were closed and whatever and winter vacation and finals and all that. <coughs> and we were doing school on Zoom. When I came back on Thursday, my shul didn't want me to come back for Shabbat because they wanted me to quarantine. So I couldn't go to my shul. I haven't done this woman's class in a few weeks. I haven't been in Shadet Zion in a few weeks. I, haven't, I said, oh my gosh, all the things I'm used to, I'm not doing. And it feels very echi. It feels very lonely. And the second, I said, one second. You know how many people, including like my parents and my in-laws, have barely left their house in 11 months? I said, how about if I start being sensitive to them? How about if I start realizing that there's a lot of people feeling this way? And I'm feeling it and I get to do things sometimes that, that you know, interactive and classes and things like that that enable me to interact with people. Most people don't have those opportunities. See, even people that are not completely stuck at home, they're halfway stuck at home or a quarter way stuck at home. That says a lot of people feeling, feeling this loneliness. Are we sensitive towards what other people are feeling and what other people are going through? 